okay in this video we're going to talk about uh, a simple cubic function all right a cubic function actually a cubic function is a polynomial uh, with the form of the general form will be ax cubed plus width bx square plus cx plus width d right so in this video we're going to talk about uh, where uh, okay the cubic function the a cannot be zero right so in what i mean here the simple cubic function here will be we're only talking about the a x cube and the constant here so the intermediate uh, x value here we will talk further in chapter 10 all right chapter 10 where we need to discuss about the stationary point the inflection point all right or the turning point in order to sketching a perfect cubic function graph all right for in, in this chapter we just discuss about simple cubic function all right so i hope you understand what i mean so means are we going to talk about the ax cube and a constant here can you see the constant here the intermediate here the function here we are talking about we will go further in chapter 10 all right so let's look at this uh you have uh, fx equals to x to the power of 3 right so fx power of 3 so you know that the graph for fx x power of 3 will be in this shape right uh it will be in this shape right so this is the graph for y equals to x cubed so means when x is positive x cubed also will be positive when x is negative uh, you put negative one negative one power of three you get negative one right negative value if you put negative it get negative if you put positive it will get positive so that's why the graph is curving in this way all right so okay for example you look at this one this one very simple so the y the x Okay, I'll teach you a very faster way. So you have 2x cubed. I don't care there is a 2 or 4 or 5 here. As long as it's positive, the shape will be looking at it, looking like this. So if you put 2 here, means it's more sharper. It's sharper, steeper. So if you have half, it's less steeper. This, this, that, that's the only difference here. So if you have 2x cubed here, the shape will be still the same. So but when you minus 1 means, it will be going down by 1. From 0, it will go down by 1, become negative 1 here. Uh, so the graph will be we'll look at this way all right suppose if you have y equals to 2x cubed it will be passing through the zero but when you minus one it moving going down by one negative one include the y intercept will be going down by one unit here so of course if you see that the domain for f here is always negative infinity to infinity right everywhere there is a graph so when you have range range also the same it will be negative infinity to infinity it will not stop right anywhere along the y-axis there is a graph anywhere along the x-axis there is a graph so let's look at this one so if you have fx equals to negative x cubed uh, of course it will be in this shape do you know why it will be in this shape uh, because when you are positive when the value of one let's say one you put one here one supposed to be positive you put one negative one cube you become negative value right so when you put a, a negative two for example negative two power of three is negative eight negative eight and negative will become positive that's why you see the graph will be reflected about the x-axis right uh, so okay for this shape is also the same it's also the same so the same here the domain and the and the range domain and range and domain and range for these two graph is the same right so the and for this case here uh, the domain and the range also negative infinity to infinity and negative infinity to infinity right so when you see there is a negative here no matter what number is this we don't care we know that the graph will be going this way right going this way because of the three here the plus three the positive three so the graph will be going up uh, three so it will be going up three and now will be in this this is the graph for this function here so the domain and the range will be still will be the same so this is called the simple cubic function right uh, so we only talk about the ax cube and the constant right okay for the remaining one we will talk further about more details in chapter 10